Hello world, the Autistic Christian here, and this is the story of my homeless little brother, Joseph and Heather. Please stick around to the very end. You might get something out of it. Enjoy. Oh, you know this area? All right, well, where do they normally pee at? I don't want to be respectful and not pee on the... Couldn't resist, mate. I'm late for church. I woke up super early and then I uh, fell asleep and then I woke up too late. Happens all the time. I don't care what they say about me, it's alright. It's alright. I don't care what they think about me, it's alright. They'll get it one day. I pray that you will save them too, God. <laughs> okay, I just got to church. Like that all of a sudden was rampant in Southern Memorial. It's such a great deal. There were so many bases. Where they began this process, let me not begin it, but it was very rampant there. This is where they would sacrifice their babies to the fire. By the thousands. And it's not that God didn't give them a chance. God, God always gives people a chance to repent. But if you have this thought that, well, God hates people, he's the one that destroys things, and Jesus loves and redeems, I'm just telling you, you have a very misunderstood view of the Lord. Amen. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are the three in one. And these, like a blind false preachers out there, that try and tell you that somehow the Trinity isn't really the Trinity. I'm just telling you, you've got to be careful and listen to this stuff. He is the Trinity. Amen. If you sing, if you sing Jesus in the Bible and He reads in red, if you sing that, if you sing the Father. Yeah. Amen. And the Holy Spirit, as I'm gonna read you here in a moment, the Holy Spirit will not tell you anything that His Word does not confirm. So they're the three in one. I don't know why I got off of that, but anyway, maybe it's the medicine. I don't know. And so as Christians, we yield our truth side, hoping it'll be okay. But by yielding the truth side, we're no longer joyful. Amen. Because you have nothing to stand on. Because your belief is based on something not true. And strength, the joy of the Lord is your strength comes from a belief in something true, Jesus Christ. Now, fun stories are fun. What we do with Seneca is fun, man. We have a blast with it, but it's temporary. And in Romans 15, 13, listen to this. It says, now may the God of all hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing. In believing in what? Jesus Christ or Santa Claus? Jesus Christ. Amen. So that you will abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because you, when you start out with, let me tell you what I believe, them eyes get you in trouble. I believe in this, and I believe that. Well, is it based on the Bible? Now, I can't explain everything to you. I can't, there's a lot of stuff I don't understand. I can't figure out and understand the axis of the earth, temperature, differential, greenhouse gases. All I don't understand all that stuff. It's beyond my pay grade. But I know this one thing to be true. I know the one that holds it in the palm of his hand. Seed, time, and harvest. Those yeah. earth remains. There will be seed, time. You keep planting your stuff, it's going to keep coming up, baby. Because God's got it right here in the palm of his hand. Amen. But I ain't going to all this philosophical Christianity trying to tell me, well, you know what happens. And I'm not saying don't take care of the planet. I'm Take care of stuff. But if you ever wondered one time to stop thinking about something, could it be possible that all the problems we're seeing on the earth today... Just a method in which God is using to say, get your attention. Towards the end of the age, you will see yeah. famines, flooding, earthquakes, yeah. destruction. Don't be disturbed by it because these are just the birth pains of what's about to come. Amen. But we want to pick a side over something on TV. Hey, look, man, I don't understand all that. But I know this one thing. <laughs> he's up holding the earth. Amen. And he's big enough to do it. I don't have to carry the earth. I'm going to take care of it because it's the Lord. Wake up. The Lord is there. I'm going to be a good Wake up. Whatever I have. I'm not going to litter, not a litter bug, and throw my stuff out. That's ridiculous. Throw in the trash can. Take care Amen. of your issues, you know? But the Lord has the earth in his hand. All right, so. Can we bring the keys? Yes. I don't know, but I'll try. What time is it? It's called Days of Noah. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think AAA is open today. Well, they shouldn't be, but he said it didn't really What happened to y'all's Mustang? I know, what, what happened? I thought it was inside AAA. It was. It was, well, not inside the building, but it was in the lot. I know, and they had I, I, construction I, I, idea. Yeah, we were there. They so have construction idea, like, plans for it. So they're moving the cars out to do the construction on that got, drive. So they moved our car first to get out of the way. 
Yeah. They actually, that was awesome. Yeah, I, Jesse, I enjoyed it. Jesse moved our car first. But uh, then it, we found out during the process of me repairing it, we got caught up with having to do this job stuff and get me new clothes and all that. I think it's all part of God's will. Yeah. And, you know, it takes sacrifice to make victory. So we are, we are going so to have to give the car back to Jeff. We're, we're giving the car back to the original owner. We move off to Texas and it'd be out of your 800 bucks. No, he's paying us back for it. They said we're not getting 800, but he said he'd give us 400 maybe. And we're letting and him look at it and determine that because yeah, it's what the said, crap. We said look That's at so it. That's so funny. Look at you, it. You guys fixed it up into better condition than what he sold it to you no, guys. No, we tried. No, it's, it's in worse. To. What? The only it's thing, in worse. The only thing we were able to do he was able to do was refill the oil and the oil was nothing in it yeah no no i'm saying when he sold it to you guys what has happened to this car in the last let's say three months was not y'all's fault yeah. no it had nothing to do with y'all it was already a piece of <gasps> to begin with no, no. okay you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so what i'm trying to tell you okay you fixed the tire right mm -hmm. true true you did okay. fix i got it tire. running we, we put car seat covers on it not that it helps much but we took the seat covers back too <laughs> <laughs> we're petty i'm sorry i'm petty I'll, I'll okay. Stand. <laughs> okay 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 who cares, <laughs> who cares? <laughs> anyways you did a lot of things to actually better the car so you can actually even drive the car because the car wasn't drivable you made it drivable mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so what i'm trying to say here you made is, it safe i made it fast <laughs> it was still a piece of gift, okay? It was it's just a, a running piece of shit, so it's diarrhea. <laughs> it was it was a gem for the purpose that it served, and now God has, not, yep, God has on. released it from you, mm -hmm. and you're getting $400 out of it. Now, here's the irony. <laughs> you pay $800 for it, put it in better condition than it was, <laughs> the condition that it's in now would have still been in that condition if he was still in possession of the car. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. Regardless of whether it was with you or him, everything that's wrong with that car is wrong with the car regardless. Uh -huh. So he's now paying you $400 <laughs> for, for a better condition car. It's still a piece of <laughs> shit. I, however, but he's getting it for half the wait, 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 wait. I got you though, because I took the radio out. <laughs> I took my seat covers back. The front left tire is dry rotted. The back windshield is completely gone. It's just as duct tape and staples with clear vinyl. Anybody want to explain why this is ladyfingers? I don't want to know. I don't either. I don't know. I just found it in this jacket. Oh, you didn't I... find it in my car, right? No. No, no of course not. The jacket's not in your car. It's one of our jackets. Oh. Not, the jacket's not in your car. I think it was like her, like one of her lipsticks, and it's got a bunch of food on it, like chicken broth, the angel food I think, cake. I think she meant like and bloody kind of Oh, this must be Nellie's handwriting. Mm-hmm. She's got good handwriting. Well, she was writing super fast. This is a freaking list, you know? If yeah, you're writing a, a list, yeah, it's a shopping list. And her shopping list, if her handwriting is this neat for a shopping list, that means she's got a good handwriting. I have terrible handwriting, hand. but awesome drawing skills. I got really unsteady hands. My hands shake a lot. She, if, you, if you can write really well, that means I got steady hands and you're I can't be a snake. I can't be a good snake. <laughs> no, it's snack. crazy. Y'all see my handwriting, right? His I'm echoing the shot, and I just drew something amazing. Oh, yeah. I'm actually a good shot, though. All right, don't tell Marshall or anyone, but we're making them an awesome little decorative piece for their oh, to draw so appreciation. Cute. What are y'all making? It's a cross, and it's got our two favorite biblical quotes on it. Oh yeah? How y'all making it? What are y'all making it? I drew out a cross on some copy paper, mm -hmm. and I folded it so it's like cardstock almost. So I cut it out into shape as angel wings, and I put it on one of my binders I don't use anymore. So I cut off the entire plate of the binder, and I um, glued it to the binder piece so it has a purple background yeah, with the white sure paper. We put a picture with it. We are. Oh, uh, we're, we're putting our favorite quotes on it too. So mine is, uh, we love because he loved us first. And we're both gonna um, write something. Mine is the John 419. But uh, we're both writing how it refers to him as well. So now we can spread the love that he spread to us. Amen. Can you guys think back when you first texted me? Yeah, actually. I'm not gonna lie. I, I talked talk to her and she's like, I got your number and your name, and that's all I had. And it's then, from Lou. Yeah. That was Lou. So yeah. Lou gave you that information. Yeah, and Lou gave it to me. And he goes, here, text this guy. And I'm just like, what guy? And he, she, she pops up with the, whose number is this? I, don't, I said, I don't know. I just know some guy that's supposed to be helping with ID or something. So, yeah. I had no expectation no, to be a no. younger Korean. <laughs> if he were telling the truth, he wouldn't have told us. Unless, of course, he knew you wouldn't believe the truth, even if he told us. Thanks for watching.
Please like and subscribe and make sure to hit that notification button so you can follow along with this story. It's got quite a bit ahead and this is just the beginning of the end. I've got so much more to share with the world. The Autistic Christianette.